Yeah, good afternoon from the Alpine guy here. In a warm summer day out here in southern Idaho. I think the temperature outside right now in the sun is about 94. And so why not go ahead and pick a time when it's fairly warm to clean the uh, refrigerator uh, vents out, clean out the, the electronics a little bit and the plumbing. And then after we get this all cleaned out, I'm going to extend the slides out and turn on the fridge in electric mode. And uh, I'm going to take a reading on the freezer and the refrigerator temperatures uh, when I first turn it on. And then uh, we'll check it again in about uh, 24 hours and see what the temperatures are. And uh, our daytime temperatures are going to be well into the 90s, maybe almost 100 by uh, Sunday. So it'll be a good test just to see what the old uh, RM1350 Dometic fridge can still do since it's on its 10th year of use. So we're up on the top right now, and you can see the condenser coil area, and this piece of paneling is a baffle, and it's what Keystone put in there and I've not seen a need to modify it. I had thought about uh, putting some foil in here and blocking this off, but in 10 years, I just haven't seen the reason, so I'm not gonna mess with it. We're gonna leave it like it is, but we'll start by blowing out the top and get the dust out of it, and then we'll go down to the lower section. And we've got that blown out as good as it's gonna get. And uh, before I go to the lower section, one little thing I wanna point out on the exterior of your uh, upper and lower uh, vent covers, you'll notice these little caps, they will come out. And if you've ever lost one, if you look inside underneath the cover, you'll probably see that there's still two spare ones attached here. And there's a couple of spare ones attached here. And that's how the vent came from the factory. So if you lose one of those, which as you can see right up here, I've lost one, by golly. That was uh, not missing there last time, so we'll take that off. And we'll reach up there and put the new one in place and keep that uh, hole covered up so that water and dirt and dust can't come in there. So even though uh, our last trip it was there, uh, I guess it just decided it didn't want to ride along anymore and blew off. So. Now we're short one, but we still have three of those uh, spare covers, so a point to remember. And we're now down on the lower section, and it doesn't look too bad. A little bit of dirt and dust. We had a couple of real good dust storms here about uh, 20 days ago. And while I'm in here, I'll just point out a couple of things. This is the Dometic RM1350. Some of you uh, will have a Dometic fridge in your older Alpines. Some of you will have the Norcold fridge, probably the, the 2118 or the 1200. And right here is the control panel or control box uh, for this. Inside, there's a couple of fuses. There's a glass fuse right where my finger is pointing at that you might be able to see. And there is an ATC fuse right back here where my finger is pointing at. The ATC fuse is for the 12 volt circuit. The glass fuse is for the 120 volt circuit. So if your fridge isn't working, that's the first place to go take a look-see at. And we'll take a look back around, see if there's anything obvious. I don't see any problems. One point of interest, this is the drain tube that comes from inside the upper refrigerator section. And if you notice on the bottom of this drain tube, there's a small plastic piece installed with holes in it, and you want to make sure that yours has this installed. This is actually a check valve, and if it's missing, the refrigerator is not going to cool as well as it should. Also, if you notice, I have this uh, hose kind of dangled or positioned so that it's on the other side of this condenser. and. Uh, the reason I did that is if I do get any uh, uh, water coming out of the fridge, it's going to come right here and right out uh, through the vent without any problems. Originally, they had this thing tucked back behind here, and it was would have dropped the water right down inside, which was stupid. So I repositioned that hose. Okay, we've got uh, everything cleaned out. It looks a lot nicer. Had a few bird feathers come out of there and a little bit of dust. 
And uh, before I put these uh, grill covers back on, I'll just point out a couple of other things. If you look on this unit, way in the back where the red and the yellow wires are, and I will zoom in just a little bit, in the center, in between those two white connections, is a small button and that is your thermo fuse and if the flue stack that's the tall metal vertical pipe that you see running up and down if the flue stack overheats that thermo fuse will pop and uh, that piece of plastic will be protruding outward and it can be reset on some of the fuses but sometimes when they pop out uh, it uh, the, the fuse won't reset and so if your refrigerator isn't working either in electric mode or LP mode, and the fuses are good, then that would be one of the things that I would look at is that thermo fuse. The, uh, this is on a Dometic 1350. The Norcold uh, uh, fridge has, has a similar item. Uh, I also have another video where I pull off this plate and actually pull the uh, flue out and the orifice on the gas valve back here. This is the gas valve back in here. And you can't see much much of the rest of it. And I'm not going to take all that apart. But uh, anyways, that'll give you an idea of just some things to look for. Okay, we've reinstalled the upper and the lower outside uh, fridge vent covers. And when you put these covers on up inside here, there are two plastic tabs. You want to make sure those engage up there. And then when you put the bottom section in, press these in. And then you want these turned. If it's like this, it's not locked and it'll come open. And so you're going to lose your panel. You want to make sure that that tab is in and that it's turned so that you see this line is horizontal and the same with this so make sure that uh, they're all that way and we can zoom up there and see that in fact those are both horizontal so we know that both panels are installed properly and they shouldn't blow off and if you notice the little screw tabs or screw covers are, are in place on the bottom and so it's a good thing I came out here and did this because we found that one that was missing and we put the new one in place. And we're inside the Alpine now. We've opened up the fridge and we removed the, the uh, uh, door opener piece and so that we can close the doors fully. Put a couple of water bottles in the bottom and one up in top. And we'll see if that one freezes in about 24 hours. And we'll look inside, and as you can see, the temperature inside the fridge right now is almost 90 degrees. So we'll see what it looks like in 24 hours. And we'll go ahead and turn the fridge on. And we'll set it to auto mode. And we'll set the temp range at 3. It goes on the Dometic. It goes 1 to 5 with one being the warmest, five being the coldest. So we'll set it at three, and we are on uh, auto. And it says it's 60 degrees inside the ice box, which is BS. You can clearly see that it is, in fact, 90 degrees. So we'll close this up, and we'll come back in 24 hours of operation on electric mode, and we'll see where the fridge is at. So that's all for now. We'll finish the rest of this video in uh, part two of the video.